my way to DFW Airport to fly into Detroit Metro where my buddy Eric should be picking me up. And then we are going to drive to Wyoming for our antelope hunt. So stay tuned. Eric finally made it. About 15 minutes late. You know, if there's not a hiccup in a trip, I, I, I don't know if you really could call it a trip. Well, we got 20, what, 20 hours? At least. <laughs> 20 hours to see if anything else goes wrong. So knock on, <laughs> knock on wood. Occidental Hotel. 20 hours. And we're here. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Good morning. Eric and I just woke up and uh, got our bellies full at the Busy Bee here in Buffalo, Wyoming. If you're ever in Buffalo, I can't stress enough, stay at the Occidental Hotel. It's absolutely awesome, awesome place to stay. Well, Eric's in the store right now. He's grabbing some uh, some dried fruit and then we're on our way to the trailhead uh, to start our backpack into uh, the Bighorn Mountains. So uh, stay tuned. Because where we're on the camp is, you know, over there towards the left. So, over the, okay. So up and but over, huh? We're gonna go up and over this. It's just funny because you look at it. It doesn't even like it doesn't even look big, but you feel big when you got that pack on your back. You know, <laughs> Man, it's some pretty country out here. That's yeah, beautiful. Way different than Michigan. We'll be climbing right up over there. Sorry for the crappy audio, my mic just broke, so uh, we're just gonna deal with crappy audio. Well, we are, I guess we, I guess you say we're ready, but we're heading in. At this point, we decided our packs were too heavy to hike in since we were supposed to be packed in by mules. So we decided to scout for the remainder of the day and set up camp on a piece of state land. So our packs were lighter for the hunt the next day. There's a buck right there. Little guy.
got a little late start this morning. <laughs> well, we're up here. What, what do we got? What, two miles in? Three About miles? Two or three miles. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think we're going to, we're debating if take this ridge line or climb that. I don't know. The easier path sounds better right now. <laughs> All I know is I'm getting hungry. I want some coffee. Yeah, definitely gotta do that soon. I do go for a hot coffee. It is so hard to explain. That looks like some good meal there. Country right there. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful country out here. Oh, well, we got into some weather. Oh, it's storming pretty good. So we found ourselves a little. I think we'd be better off on the backside. Yeah, definitely better. Oh, get a mountain out in us. Some coffee and a view. Definitely excited for that coffee. Man, that rain sucked. The rain was terrible. I'm cold. <sighs> Someone forgot. Forgot to pack. It takes one time to learn. It's trial and error. It's trial and error. <sighs> nope. Nice little cubby. Get up in our little <laughs> rat cave here. <laughs> uh. Sunny. I don't know you guys can't see it, but they're they're a ways away. So I think we're gonna go up high, Back down. They're the right. They're right there. So we got a good ways. It's going on 10:30 right now. So we're we're back here. So we're gonna make a play on and uh, it's day one. So see if we can make it happen. Let's do it. Once we dropped in to make a play on the group of antelope. We broke the ridge and we were met with 40 mile an hour winds and a buck and doe coming our way. The buck showed himself at 20 yards, which I decided to pass on since he was a smaller buck. And all of a sudden, the group of antelope showed himself really quick, so we didn't get the kill shot on film. Sorry for the audio. Well, we couldn't videotape the shot, but it's kind of a run and gun deal. Adam shot about. 250, 300, down, I'm just going to give it some time. And you can hear this wind just howling. It's, uh, what, eight, eight of them? Yeah, eight. He was the best of them, but they all took this way. He went this way, so they were so I We watched him for about five minutes and decided that we could make a play to get another round in him on top of the ridge, which he presented a 20 yard shot. Well, how fast did that happen? Uh, well, it didn't happen that fast because we've been hiking since we've been before. It's what, 1 o'clock? Well, I think it's about noon. Uh, half, 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 half. I'm happy. That's cool. Thank you. 
Well, got them all cut up now. A little heavier going out than coming in, but it's all worth it. I'm glad it's on your back. Eight miles. Time to get you home. Eight miles. We got what? What time? What, two o'clock? Two o'clock. So hopefully we get out of here before dark. So I was hiking up with the cows. Too bad they didn't offer a ride. Real nice right now. Whew. It's all worth it. All worth it. Good morning, guys. Day two. We're feeling it. A little uh, sore in the feet and the hips. I put in about 18 miles hiking yesterday. Uh, we got one, but uh, we're definitely we're definitely feeling it. So I think we're gonna do some uh, um, easy land access today instead of going out in the mountain range and uh, looking for them. So I think we're gonna try to get out of our truck and go do some spot and stalk today. Take a little easy on our bodies, and uh, if we can't get it done today, then. Uh, Monday we'll head back up and uh, start hiking and go back into where we uh, got into them yesterday so yeah stay tuned two groups move on us and we're just they're all on private right now but if we get lucky maybe they uh come on the state property so we're just sitting here watching them they're right over here all right we made a move those uh antelope Got, got up and went deeper onto private and then laid down by a little watering hole. So we bombed down off the, the little knoll that we were on. We're gonna drive to a couple other spots and see if we can see anything to make a play on. And if not, we're gonna regroup and go back to uh, our camp and get our bags all set up and get something to eat. And then probably, uh, a big hike. yeah, we're gonna go on a big hike tomorrow and I go to bed around seven and get up four o'clock and make another big push and see if we can get into them uh, like we did the first day. So, and, uh, a bunch of them over here. yeah, they're everywhere we're not. Yeah, I wish you were on state property. Yeah, he looks good. I'd, I'd probably take him, huh? Look at them all. They're all out there. All in private. Mm -hmm. Alright. Nothing happened tonight. So... We're packing in tomorrow. We're getting up at four o'clock. It's just about eight o'clock right now. So we got a long day ahead of us. So we're gonna get some sleep and uh, try to get her done tomorrow. What's your thoughts on game plan? Well, if we're going all the way in, we gotta get one. <laughs> we're going all the way in. How's that light doing? 
<laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Morning, guys. Day three. And it's beautiful outside right now. I've been hiking for about two hours now. We're right about where we need to get the glass. And we're going to try to set up to get a time lapse of the old sunset. So, feeling good. So, I'll give you guys an update when we get all set up and I get some coffee and some food and watch the sunset and then start glassing. Alright, I'll see ya. Down some moments back in time I could swore that I was in it Down to every minute Don't know what I was sipping But I felt like I was doing fine Oh my Turns out that I just got A little bit south Just a little bit north of the Georgia line group on private and I'm gonna I'm gonna go this fence line down Eric's gonna take this little draw those drainage or whatever down there I want to see if I can spook them on to back on the public and uh, I won't get filmed but it won't get filmed but uh I'll get a shot there's a nice buck in there so that plan didn't work we're Found our group. Eric, what's that right down in front of you? Is that a bunch of them? Yeah. Down here. And uh, see what we can do. All right, wish us luck. All that way down this irrigation trench. 
flopping through the water and they're not even a good buck here. Who told me? People the size of mine. <laughs> Looks like mine, Eric. It's a small. <laughs> yeah, he's not eating. He doesn't, he doesn't eat. Not even. And I think the rest of those are just does. Well, he's using cutters on them. Well, we still <coughs> um, we can go over the top of this hill and get those ones, and they might even cut back towards us. So, I'll do that. I'm down for everything. Let's go. Except for climbing hills, <laughs> muddy ones. <coughs> Three to four. Well. We got up to that group and there was a little buck, nothing worth shooting. Yeah, we're 350 yards down this dam. There they go right there, they're taking off right now. Let's see if I can get you in there. They're taking off right there. No shooters. But no shooters. But it worked out, we got, got in within range. So uh, on to our next, we got a bunch of them over, uh, over, top, of over top of this hill. So we'll, uh, we're gonna make another play. That was super fun. Let's do it. All right, well, we stopped and we're making breakfast right now. We got breakfast burritos, some Kobe coffee, a little breakfast taco, airing the feet out, putting the socks out a little bit we had a group of hunt two hunters right here shot about four times had a group of antelope and I think they missed all four times, all four times. so we're just getting some the, um, coyotes that were chasing them oh yeah yep so taking a little break and then uh, we've got a big big group to the south of us that we come in watching and uh we might be able to make a play with them so we'll see you guys back here in a little bit we just uh hiked down from our little Over breakfast there. spot and uh we're watching this big group of probably i don't know 50 antelope a bunch of they're working their way down we got this whole elevation spot right next to this uh um green field that they like to come down and eat from so we're just gonna post up here and um, see if we can <clears throat> catch them crossing in between us so we're just ha hanging out and beautiful day outside right now a little breeze it's probably what 65 yeah. probably pushing 70 and there's no one out here other than those two hunters that uh yeah another group coming in to the north a group of uh antelope yep coming in <laughs> coming this way we are at a good spot right now like i said we're on this little hill we got to draw back here we go back and run the ditch well we had just where the cattle is we just had a, a decent buck come in a range and uh, he's not what we're looking for. Mr. Trophy Hunter over here has got I uh, set on, you know, 86 inch pronghorn, nothing less. Just want an improvement over last year's song. <laughs> All right. Well, that came out of nowhere. I was using the, the restroom of nature provided me and I seen Eric Eric had his gun holstered and I was like oh no I gotta get this on film he was there he just couldn't tell what he looked like before he got out of range so we're still at him all right guys we got into him today hopefully see something on our way out to the truck but if not, we still got a few more days left. We're gonna go get some food in our stomachs and uh, uh, regroup, make a plan for tomorrow. 
and we'll probably get out here we we started hiking around 5 5 30 we may get out here earlier just to get set up and uh i think we know where they're coming out and where they're liking to hang out they were just in private today they literally it was hot no wind they just were like they hung up in private and one little group would would you know come down and get spooked and go back in the private and they just hung up and we had a lot of guys that were on four wheelers spooking them back they were coming down to us they'd go back north and they just a lot of things that's that's hunting the blm right but you gotta love it this makes the hunt a little harder a little bit more rewarding so hopefully fingers crossed we might see something in the next hour and if not we'll be at them tomorrow early so trying we got one down one more to go all right good morning guys we kind of had some technical difficulties this morning the old uh jalapeno burger from the cowboy saloon in town didn't sit well bo with both of us so uh we got a little later start than we want to but we're about probably a half a mile from where we were yesterday and we just glassed a bunch of antelope we just missed them, I think, from state to private. But just like yesterday, we're gonna post up and we're gonna be a little aggressive today. So hopefully, hopefully we can get it done today so we can get the meat to the processor and start packing up camp and heading back to, to Michigan. So you guys just stay tuned and hopefully we'll get into them today. Not ranging? No, there's too many weeds. It's hitting right in the, it's in the weeds just over the hill here. We need to crawl up a little bit more. I'm really gonna see us. I wish we can't be on the other side because then we'd be in plain view. But they don't have a clue we're here. More crossing over another buck. We're in it. Three bucks, Three bucks one all the back. It's like oh, I'm super uncomfortable right here. Do you need my jacket to lift? Oh, yeah, still lift it up more. Yeah. There we go. I don't have binos to see if you hit them or not. So there's one buck that's uh, standing by the fence. He's nice, but there's also another one. I'm gonna take the one that's by the fence. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Miss. Miss. Yep. I missed. I I don't have binos on me. I can't I can't tell. Okay. This way. Perfect. They're coming this way. Yeah. Dude, they're coming this way. They're coming right at us fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the two, the buck behind the doe. He's like directly behind her right now. You got the nice curls coming in. He's tall. They're like the two, the only two in the middle. See the group to the right? Yep. There's the two, there's like, there's the two between, there's uh, there's a group of three yep. with a the buck. And there's there's the buck coming up behind them. Yep. And there's a buck to the left of that one looking back towards the private. Yep, I see him. That one. All right. Yeah, he looks nice. Ready? Yep. Low. How low? Uh, hold on. Hold on. You might. Hold on. He had Tim running? Yep, he was him running. Let him stop. Where? God, I couldn't tell that one. Look low, look, 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 look low right. Fucking eye animal. Eric had to crawl back to his backpack, come back, reload, as a buck still stood there. We got one laying down, dude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened so fast. Yeah, he was. Eric. Well, he's still. He's laying down, but hold on. I think, uh, I think he's done. He's done. He's done. We had three rounds with him. We left the rest of his ammo back at the... Uh, where we dumped our packs at and uh Forgot he, he, one in my vinyl he had one in his vinyl harness but he went back and grabbed another round or whatever and they all stayed in this they, they had no clue where this where we were shooting from 8 30 got in late jalapeno burgers destroyed the gut this morning we get here they were all on the private green section we get here they all come off and we just shot what it's gotta be a, it's gotta be a 400 yard shot it, 400 our rangefinder kept picking up all the tall grass in front of us and i mean i got my phone on me I, i'll try to try to zoom in and show you like i mean they are they're out there they're out there so very cool we came in you put a stock right on right right from the beginning right from the beginning we ran into one remember that little buck over here yeah we had a lone ranger that came down and he, he he pegged us but we had the sun to our back so he really didn't know what we were and he went down a little draw and then he seen us come up in the shadows and we come over top of here and there's a group of three doe four doe and we just we belly crawled all the way up into this little hill that we're on and Man. They all that whole group came from the private, came out, had no clue, had no clue. If you, uh, if you hadn't filled your tag yet, you could shoot a nice buck right now. It's a hum, I'm happy with what I got. Very cool. What do you think? Oh, look at the shot, Adam. Boy. Right on. <clears throat> I'll take him. <laughs> I think that uh I think that other buck that was with him, the one that I first shot at, but what that had to be that had to be at least six hundred yards. Yeah. Over at that fence. I think he was a bigger, you know, I think he came out a little bit more. But, yeah, he was t definitely taller. But I couldn't, see, once, you know, shot the first time, they all took off. I don't know where they went. Or they, I didn't know where he went. But then this guy, this is when I saw him, and that's when we started shooting at him. And then that other one came back into the picture, but it was already too late. He's a cool buck, though. Yeah. Man, he stinks. Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think it exploded in there. Well... Ha, ha, ha.
it's what we came for, right? That's what we came for. We didn't, right we, didn't we, we haven't hiked all this this time, so. Yours might be bigger. You got bigger curls than mine. <laughs> All right, guys, we got them quartered out, actually deboned. Eric's got, he's got rear front quarter and the head and cape. And then I got uh, a rear, a front and the tenderloins. So we're a little heavier, but that's what it's all about so i didn't videotape uh us gotten them or anything like that quarter them out because you know youtube is funky all about that so uh i just decided not to videotape that so anyways we're we're hiking out we're hiking out successful day we're gonna probably go pack up camp Go to the butcher, go to the taxidermist, and then, uh, I call, open up a couple barley pops. And then, uh, we'll probably be heading back Wednesday morning sometime. It's been fun. I wish we could have got the, you know, the kill shots on tape or whatever, but up here in the mountains, man, you come over a ridge, and if you don't have a cameraman and you're you're on the sticks or whatnot, it's it's hard. So hopefully in the future I could get a little bit better at that. But uh, hopefully all this content you guys liked, and uh, all right, guys, we'll see you on top. What you got there? That's a kill, buddy. These fences are getting harder to get over. Yep. Oh. Uh, last little hike to our ridge. Uh, we'll be home. Oh. I don't miss these mountains, Eric. That feels good, huh? This is rough on a guy. You wanna go back out and see if we can find some wolves? <laughs> At least it's all downhill from here. Last time we gotta climb this thing, right? Last one. Oh. Thank God. Oh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, guys, that does it for our uh, 2022 Wyoming antelope hunt. If you like this content, you can drop a like and help me start this channel up and subscribe. So thanks for watching. Until next time.
Thank you.